so it's officially day one. I'm worried about my audio because my mic and speaker slash headphone jacks are funky. So let's hope we get a decent recording. Also, I'm getting a gaming headset on spec. I have no idea. It's a Logitech, and I read some customer reviews on Amazon. I didn't buy it on Amazon, but I always read their reviews. And some people who actually work in audio industries have bought this headset. It's not expensive, and they're very impressed with the quality of it. So that'll be coming in a few days, and hopefully the mic will be a bit better than this handheld thing that's so hard to use. Sorry about the brightness in my crafting grid, but... I think it's really important that people be able to see what I'm doing underground, so you're just going to have to fake figuring out what the heck I'm doing, alright? I just made a crafting table. I plugged a hole. I went down about three blocks so I could hop. I built a crafting table so I could put it, place it right underneath me, just hop up and put it down. Because, of course, the first thing I'm going to need is a pick. I'm going to be fumbling a little bit. This mouse is having some issues with, um, I guess it's used to being on a desk. It's my Logitech gaming mouse. It can't quite understand what I want it to do when I'm rolling it around on my tummy. It's not a rollerball mouse. It's a laser pointer mouse, but it gets confused because my tummy is convex and it's used to being convex or concave? No, convex. And it's used to being on a flat surface. So it's a little jittery and wobbly. You'll see that sometimes when I'm pointing at things in my crafting grid and so on, that um, the cursor is kind of bumbling around. It's not because I have some sort of neurological issue that's causing me to be palsied. It's the way the light is shining on my tummy is not sending a solid signal to the mouse. So bear with me. Okay, this is that cavern that I was on top of, and I swore it'd be full of mobs, but I swear I think it was just close enough to me, even vertically, that nothing really spawned here. Uh, I'm assuming that if it were nighttime, things would now be starting to spawn on the surface near my little hovel. I did something really stupid here. I broke the sand with the pick, and given the fact that I only have six logs of wood, that was... Uh, not the best idea. I need my resources to last, and until I can get to a place where I can grow a tree, wood is more precious than diamond. Also, to save on hunger, I wish, while I'd had the crafting table there, that I had gotten some cobble and gone ahead and built myself a few slabs so that I wouldn't have to hop. Slabs or stairs or something I apologize for the brightness of the crafting grid it had to be that way and I should have left my crafting table now but see I didn't know if any cooties were going to be coming at me or if I was going to have to make a run for it I also didn't know if this was legal mining resources in the cavern on my way down I'm not supposed to get down to diamond level. I can't remember. I think I'm supposed to be below 18. I don't know. Um, I'm a big one for looking behind gravel, people. You're just going to have to be patient. It wasn't worth it to me to make a shovel. Because saving on the wood. There's my hole. Just making sure I knew where it was. So I had to hand beat the gravel. Just exploring around this cavern a little bit. You can see how this could have been a mess. You know, I was just far enough away from that long enough but within proximity of spawning range I was just far enough away that this could have been full of mobs when I got down here and frankly I don't know why it wasn't I got real lucky I did hear an enderman left it alone didn't go looking for it but it was somewhere not too far away looking behind gravel to see if there's any hidden resources 
I suspect that gravel is just hiding the fact that there's, or, yeah, obscuring the fact that there's another cavern above this one. Or another cave, actually. So, but I always look behind gravel if I have the luxury of being able to do so. Sometimes I'm in such a hurry or under so much duress or whatever that I don't have the luxury of looking. But you see, there is another cave up there, or another something up there. Another hole, anyway. Lowering the gravel by breaking the blocks under it so I can climb up. I'm not too concerned about the wooden pick because I do have a cobble pick. But I probably should have scrolled over or something and broken that gravel without a tool. Same thing with your crafting table. Don't break your crafting table with a tool. It's just a waste of the tool. And frankly, I've counted and picks in particular, it will take a lot longer for a crafting table to break. It breaks faster if you use an axe, but breaking it with your fist is just slightly longer than using an axe. So crafting tables can be broken by hand to save on your tools. If your tools are precious, then you're not going to be able to replace them quickly. I wish I'd gotten more coal. I did not get enough coal. I did get this mushroom, but I never found a red one. That would have been handy. This wasn't going to be. There might have been a red mushroom right next door to me, and I'll never know. You know what I might do is, after I'm done with this series, I might go through here either in spectator or creative mode. Probably creative mode so I can place torches. And just look around the general area where I was and see what was around me that I never found. Yeah, I wish I'd gotten more coal. Now I'm adjusting the brightness of this video so that y'all can see. I just adjusted it back down because obviously I have torches. I wish I'd pick up those torches when I continue down the hole. I did not. I don't know why. I guess I thought I was rich or something and, you know, wood grows on trees. That was a joke. Get it? Wood grows on trees. Never mind. There's just not a whole lot of trees down here. Man, can you imagine if you came down here and found an abandoned mine shaft right off the bat? Oh, wow. Wouldn't that be awesome? And I've decided to go up there and get what I can. Again, I don't know if it's legal for me to be doing this or not. I'm on my way down, but while I'm on my way down, I'm scouting resources. Because I'm going to be down there a long time. And whatever I find on the way could be useful. Also, if there's any caverns below me, there's already spawning mobs. And the sooner I have armor, and the sooner I have an iron pick that can mine faster without wasting wood faster and longer and more without wasting wood, the better off I'll be trying to find my spot where I have to go back down. Wish I'd picked up those torches. I'm doing the too wide thing. Uh, I didn't count this first time, but the rest of the way down, I go down five blocks and then poke holes to look for resources. Again, I don't know if this is legal, but it made sense to me. Cover this up so cooties can't fall on my head. Sorry about the darkness. I had to be that way for a minute. And then just poke holes every five blocks down. Make poke holes five blocks out. That's as far as I can reach with my pick. If I see anything within five blocks, I'll get it. And if I ever have any too tall holes, because I like found coal or iron or whatever. I plug those up because cooties can spawn in them. So I plug them up so the cooties can't get me. I'd rather have the cooties up here in dark holes where they can't jump me than falling on my head, you know? When you're in a dark place like this, if you look at the hole from the corner or edge of your screen, your peripheral vi vision is more acute than your straight on vision. So you can see what's in the hole better without having to light up. I 
I won't need too many torches on the way down. But I'm going to give myself the luxury of a little bit of light. I'm saving my wooden pick either just in case for digging. But also for burning small amounts of something. Is it smelting? Not using it too much because it's slower than cobble. Much slower than uh, iron, of course. You know, you get to be of two minds iron, you think it's precious. But in a situation like this, like I said, one of the most precious things I have is wood. And I have no food. So I need to be real careful how I move, what I do, how I engage, you know? If you stand right in between two blocks and alternate, some people go three blocks down and then scoot over three blocks down, etc. But if you stand right in between them, you can go straight down, usually without falling in lava and so on. Start iron going and then worry about... Um, mining the rest of the iron to try to save time but then I see that I don't have any more coal all that is is flint I have a hard time discerning between flint and coal but I believe that several pieces of flint not coal so I burned my wooden sword because it's not very important and I burned my wooden pick and then hope I find coal because I'm not making charcoal. At least not until I can grow a good mess of trees and have a good surplus of wood. And there's no growing trees here. That's Flint. There is a cave nearby. So what I'm doing with this series is I'm just trying to practice some tactics I already know from watching Ultra Hardcore players and Minecraft Bingo players. Um, again, my speed will increase as I get more practiced at it, but there's a lot of thinking involved in this. That's why you see so many pauses when I'm in my inventory and so on. I'm trying to calculate what I will need in future. Spiders can spawn in a one block tall space, but it has to be two blocks wide. That's how big spiders are. Yes, baby zombies could have spawned and fallen on me, and that would have been a big problem. However, I don't think my local difficulty is to the point yet where that would be a concern, and I'll be down low enough soon enough that it won't be a major issue, I'm hoping. I guess it could have taken the time to plug up all those poke holes. You tell me, would it have been a good idea or would it have been a waste of time and cobble? It's not like I'm going to run out of cobble. I might run out of pick. I looked up there and I thought, wow, it seems like I've gone a lot farther than that. But this is hardcore, and if I die, that's the end of the game. Now, you do regen on hardcore. You do regen. It's not ultra hardcore, where you don't regain health unless you have a golden apple or a potion or something. So you do heal if your food isn't below two hunger pops. 
but if you hit a mess of zombies or take fall damage or fall in lava or whatever and you die, you don't respawn. That's the end of the game. Which is one reason I'm choosing to play it this way. You know, for a very, very long time I played on easy and I played on peaceful. So that I could build and stuff and I only turn mobs on when I need mob drop, that kind of thing. Because it would trigger my post-traumatic stress disorder and the game would make me sick. So I've come a very long way since I started this channel. Because now I'm playing on hardcore and I feel comfortable. It feels normal to me. It doesn't feel like uh, a big threat. And of course, having it feel normal and comfortable to me, but still having in the back of my head that I can't afford to take stupid forms of damage like fall damage or being hit by another player by accident when they're mining or whatever, having that in the back of my mind um, keeps me more conscious and uh, makes me a better player. Whereas when you're playing on easy or peaceful, so what if you fall out of a tree? You know, so you take a little fall damage, you'll recover. It's better that I remember how to take good care of myself as I'm playing the game so that when I get to the point where I can play ultra hardcore um, PvP or whatever, I will have good habits about self care. I'm sure find an iron. I think I still have the I don't have enough coal problem, don't I? Should have put a block in there so I didn't have to jump out of the hole. The item would have popped back out. And there's coal. The item would have popped back out and I wouldn't have had to take any hopping damage. Or, you know, loose, a loose um, full tummy because I hopped. I figure with this much coal available, I might as well just smelt. I think I'm at the right layer. I'm at 18. I don't know if that's too tall or not, but it's pretty far down there. If you repair two picks, according to the wiki, you get m more... Um, durability they last longer than each one of the picks separately so you gain a little bit by combining them so it was worth it to me to do that I don't know how long that wood's gonna last or if it will last And now it's getting time to get serious. It's time for an iron pick and it's time for some armor. I'm going to be down here a long time. I don't know what's going to be around me. I don't know if there's a spawner. I don't know if there's an abandoned mine shaft that's absolutely crawling with cave spiders. I have no idea. I don't hear anything. I did up a little higher here lava. But I don't, and I heard cave sounds, but I never actually broke through to a cave from where I am. So I'm down here now. I don't know what's going to happen, and it's time for me to get real serious. So it's best to be prepared. I have an iron sword, an iron pick, and I'm making an iron chest plate. Chest, make the chest first, make the pants next make the boots after that and then finally make the hat this may be my home so I'm digging it out I don't know I'm gonna go exploring later but right now this may be home it better not be there's gonna be a lot of digging if I gotta plant a tree mm -hmm. so that's day one of the minecraft hardcore underground challenge thank you very much for watching and remember, I'd hug you, but my arms don't bend. Bye.